Hello everyone, this is MJ and you are at my channel called Reading This Life. My channel is where we talk fiction, friends, and fun. Today, it's the first installment. Mm -hmm. You knew it was going to happen. <gasps> first installment of Paperbacks from Hell. What did I buy? What did I review? What are we going to talk about? Let's talk about it all. Stay tuned. Okay, so this is a new project that I decided to take on. Um, I blame BookTube for all of it. <laughs> okay, so Paperbacks from Hell is um, by Grady Hendrix, and it is the twisted history of 70s and 80s horror fiction. So it goes through all different types of covers and books, and I've talked about some of these in the past, so you would be familiar. So the first one is one of the latest books that I received. This is, a, this is amazing. Okay, so I was paging through. Horror Mayhem, there was uh, quite a few videos about occult detectives. So it started piquing my interest, you know, and I have um, an occult detective magazine. Bob Freeman has a uh, occult detective uh, YouTube channel. I will link it down below in case you wanna check it out. Um, super interesting stuff. And I paged through this. And this is the Occult Detective book series, which is called The Satan Sleuth. All right, so I saw the cover and I said, oh, I would love to read those books. So I went on a hunt and I found one of them four it was on auction for nine dollars and 99 cents i was the only one that was interested and i got it i got it i think i bid up to maybe 12 dollars or something like that but i was the only winner i was the only bidder and it's mine and it's adorable look at the cover look at the cover on that but here's the thing, this is number two in the series. So I had to find number one. There's three books. Number one is listed on eBay for like $50. Number two was the cheapie. Number three is like $45. So I said, oh, I really wanna read that so bad. I went to Amazon and I put it in the search and all three are available on Kindle Unlimited. This is the Satan Sleuth number one fallen angel. This is the origin story of how the Satan Sleuth came to be. I just finished the book a few minutes ago and I'm going to give it a solid three and a half, a solid three and a half. This was published. All right, I don't know when the first one was published, but let's check the second one, 1974. So 1974 had a lot of stuff going on, um, society-wise, counterculture, all that. It's the beginning of satanic panic, uh, all that stuff was going on. So the Manson murders happened, um, and this book is very Manson-like, a little bit. Avalon's protagonist, Philip St. George III. I equate him to almost like a Batman-type character. Uh, makes even Robert Redford look vapid. So it says here, the Tate Manson incident happened in 1968. And uh, what happens in this book is a little bit more gruesome, if you can imagine, um, than that. Like equal, but still disturbing. So since it was written in 1974, you have to remember that um, what... Uh, the culture was at the time. Okay, I'm reading this. Oh my God. 49, 49 years later, I'm reading this. I'm 51 people. All right. So you have to remember when this took place, when it was written, um, and just read it with a grain of salt. Okay. So our protagonist, he's, he's a multimillionaire. He's an adventurer. He goes off looking to see what causes all the issues with the Bermuda Triangle. 
Um, he's, cl- he's climbed Mount Everest. He has this crazy IQ. He's muscular. He's spry. He's athletic. He's all these things. And um, he comes home and his wife is basically tortured, murdered, all of it. Um, and he is in complete shock. And this is a revenge book. So he uh, communicates with his friends to help him secure some items so he can become the Satan sleuth. This is our protagonist. It's not a bad guy. This is our dude who is going to rescue, um, his wife's memory and, uh, to bring justice. This is his getup. So he has a monk robe, He has um, a metal crucifix. He has grenades. He has guns. He has um, uh, an airplane or helicopter. He has all these items at his disposal because he's Bruce Wayne rich. So think of it like Bruce Wayne getting pissed and going out for revenge with a little bit of um, justice, I guess. I don't know. I enjoyed it, but there were a couple parts where I'm like, oh God, here we go. There's a little bit of writing that reminds me of Richard Lehman when we're talking about women's figures and stuff like that. A little cringy being a female reading this could be written a lot better, you know. I think the character had a lot of potential. The book had the incident, the origin story, the hunt, the capture, uh, and you know, what's happening next. So we know that the story continues because there is a book two and there's a book three. Um, Grady Hendrix says that there were two other novels that were supposed to be written. Um, but I guess the publisher backed out of the contract or whatever. So we only have the trilogy. We only have three books in this series. But I will tell you what, if you are a Kindle Unlimited, if you are a Kindle person, you have Kindle Unlimited and you want to go down the road of paperbacks from hell with me, what better way than with the Satan Sleuth? Yeah, it's 70s fun. (laughs) Is it scary? No, not really. Um, Is it cheesy? Yeah, a little. Um, Is it well written? I wouldn't say so. But the story held my attention. I wanted to see what happened next. Um, I was really rooting for um, our protagonist. And I also really wanted something else to happen that didn't happen, you know, but I'm not going to spoil it. So if you are interested in uh, going down this nostalgic road, you can start by reading The Satan Sleuth. I'm moving on to book number two and then book number three. So probably, you know, I'll finish it up the first um, week of uh, July or whatever. But uh, it was a lot. It was fun. It was fun. And like I said, it's one of those hidden treasures on Kindle Unlimited. So um, make sure that you check it out. And I think if you don't have Kindle Unlimited, you can still buy a Kindle copy at a reasonable price. Not $55. Um, it might be $5. It might be $4.99. Let me check. Let me check to see. You can buy Fallen Angel number one on Kindle for $2.98. So if you're interested, again, in going down this journey of reading some paperbacks from hell, what an affordable way. Just saying. You can't find these in the library. I stumbled on this one and struck while the fire was hot. It was a waiting game, but I pounced and I got it. Um, the other two, I'm still, I still have my feelers out for. I keep searching, keep searching, keep looking. Somebody's going to put them online at some point and not know what treasure they have. Michael Avalone. Avalone? Avalone? Avalon? So yeah, so number one, it says here, want to buy for $2.98. The Werewolf Talks Tonight also it says want to buy for $2.98. I think that's because I'm a Kindle Unlimited person. Now, if I were just to, if I was just searching Amazon to get an ebook, I don't know what the price is. Book number three is $1.44 if you wanted to buy it on Kindle Unlimited. These were republished back in 2015. And it's 
hidden way, 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 way down. <laughs> You're, it's very tough to find, I think. So it tells me here that you can buy them. If you were just going to buy straight on Amazon, uh, number one is $4.99, number two is $4.99, number three is $3.45 here in the States. If you go through Kindle Unlimited, then you get that extra discount, I believe, if you wanted to have it, okay? So that is my review. That is my shopping tip for you. Um, if you are interested in getting in on this journey and reading some obscure horror stuff from the 70s and 80s, following the paper trail of paperbacks from hell, there you go. <laughs> All right, everyone. So I will be back next week talking about book number two. And that is dun, 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 the Satan Sleuth. And look at our protagonist. Is he, is he scuba diving? Is he scuba diving? He might be. He has like a wetsuit on and there's a werewolf in the background. I can't wait to figure out what's happening. And the best thing is that there's a cigarette ad in the back. You know what that means. Trash. All right, everyone. So I hope that was informative. I hope that was fun. I hope this piques your interest into reading some mediocre books. I'm not saying these are books of the year or favorite books. Just a fun way to get nostalgic. Just a fun way to spend a nice summer evening reading a short book. You know, it was written back in a time when I was like two years old, which is crazy. But yeah. All right, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Make sure that you are taking care of yourself so you can take care of others. And I will see you in my next video, whether that be sooner or later. So until next time, everyone. Goodbye for now.